New projects, the blank screen waiting to be filled with characters and environments to bring your worlds to life. Whether starting from a template or just winging it, the possibilities remain endless. It can be a chore to get set up and the process is highly personal. What do you put in every project you start with? Hello Turtles, I'm Tim Bodette, and I'm going to share with you a process to quickly start a new project. Using a template project and or a generator script, you can start with a common structure for your code and assets to grow. A template also establishes naming conventions and reduces the amount of time to get to a blank canvas for your game. The template can start simple and be improved continuously to allow more features for future projects. I have participated in many game jams throughout the years. A game jam typically lasts 48 to 72 hours where developers build games around a common theme. There was one community I joined called One Hour Game Jam. Yes, they made a complete game in one single hour. My first attempt was a rude wake-up call. It took 17 minutes of that hour to get a blank screen. This occurred for multiple reasons, including just starting with my own custom engine and not having a template project. At the time I was doing one hour game jam every week, which allowed me to improve my workflow of the custom engine and speed up the creation of new projects. In between events, I created a template project that reduced the time to blank screen significantly, down to 30 seconds, and most of that included downloading my custom engine from source control. The template project started as a few assets, common code files, and a generation script to copy and replace some names. All I had to do was run create project, specify the name, and wait 30 seconds. You should use a template project to save yourself time in creating a new project. As I stated with my custom engine, I went from over 15 minutes down to 30 seconds. I do believe even with Unity, Unreal, or other popular engines, having a template project may still be useful as everybody has their own personal workflow. I have not used any other engines enough to build my own templates for them, but I have seen many templates available on the Asset Store. A word of caution though, they may or may not fit your personal tastes. Another advantage to using a template project over the course of many years is sharing a common structure and pipeline for each project. This helps reduce the friction by knowing where things belong and where to find that asset or code file. I will be sharing how I structure a project in the future video, so subscribe now for more game development tips and techniques. Keep in mind that a template project is personal and what works for one developer or team may not work for another. Over many years, my template project has grown and evolved in various ways. It started much smaller and simpler, but now it contains prototyping assets, scripts to automate builds, and generic code for scenes, entities, high scores, and more. Some projects have different needs and may remove bits as it is easier to delete the extra parts than it is to add them. The concept kit and prototyping assets are often deleted from a new project generated from my template. This kit contains some extra assets like generic music, sprites, or meshes that allow me to get the idea moving along. This came from when I was doing one hour game jams and was very useful to get boxes and iconic shapes moving around quickly. If you are participating in a game jam and you have a template project, read the rules carefully as many jams restrict pre-created assets like these. The extra bits of source code I have are either templates themselves or generic code that has yet to grow into my custom engine for one reason or another. The entity template allows me to create new entities and behaviors quickly while the scenes set up a good flow. A freshly generated project will display my splash screen, display a quick title screen, then jump into a blank screen for gameplay. Though to speed up development, the game skips all of the splash and title screens until I'm ready to ship it to players. Most game jams do allow personal splash screens. My project also hooks into a larger set of scripts that run every night. After creating a project, I can add it to a list to have it automatically build the project each night and get notified when it fails to build. This allows me to clearly know when an unintentional API breaking change occurs in my custom engine or if I wrote platform specific code where it shouldn't be. In the future, the setup will also run unit tests to be notified pass fail state. This isn't a high priority for the template project right now, but it does remain a wishful feature. As you start creating and using a template project, there will be times where you need to update the template. Perhaps there is a typo or a build script is failing. Maybe you've added a new feature to a recent game that would generally fit most future projects. These are situations where it's a good idea to add or fix your template project. Since you are likely in the middle of a project, 
It would be best to write the idea down somewhere safe and tackle the ideas the next time you plan to create a new project using your template. This will keep you focused and reduce time lost from mentally swapping projects. Also, when changes are made just before testing, it makes it easier to know if something went wrong and how to fix it. For all projects that live longer than a weekend, I highly recommend using source control of some sort. Git is fairly popular these days, but SVN is a bit simpler. With a good template project, you can just copy the generated content and good ignore settings will allow you to commit as is. It doesn't take that much to do it, however an improved strategy could be to add a feature to the generation script that will automatically commit the project to a specific repository. One thing to be aware of is creating too many projects. Shiny object syndrome is a very real issue. When you remove the friction of creating a new project, it may become even more tempting to jump into a new idea. It is as important as ever to finish your projects before moving on to new ideas. I also have a video describing a good process to choose ideas for your business and games that would be useful for you to watch before you start your next project. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more game development tips and techniques like how to structure your new project. Until later, turtles, have a good one.